use the motion looper in Echopad. We can actually just use um, a couple of tap gestures, pull down and release gestures uh, to control it. What it's used for is to basically control uh, or to automate effects rather. So you record a real time performance of your effects movements and it will play them back in real time. So I'll just show you quickly what it does and then explain how the, what gestures do what. So what it does is play back exactly what I recorded in real time as a loop. You can re-trigger it and stop the loop from playing back by just using a couple of gestures. So to start recording the loop, you will just tap once. And then to stop recording and begin loop playback, you just tap again. Then to re-trigger, you pull down and let go and it'll re-trigger when you let go. And to stop playback, you actually hold down the button for half a second and it'll stop playback. So we'll go through this again. I'll show you how to record this and I'll do some more uh, knob movements or uh, rather control ring movements to record the automation. So whenever we start recording, stop by tapping again and then it immediately starts playback so you can see it's applying the different uh, movements and automating the effects that I just did <clears throat> um, there's no time length to or time limit to how long a motion loop can be so record as long as you want uh, to re-trigger the motion loop from the beginning, you want to pull down and then release, and then it'll re-trigger it from the beginning. So you can keep re-triggering at that as much as you want. And you can also re-trigger it from the audio bus side panel, which I'll show in just a second. To stop the, lotion, the motion loop, you touch and hold for half a second, and it'll stop playing back. Now you can hear, if I want to re-trigger this little ML button down here, will actually re-trigger the audio, uh, or the motion loop. So now switching over, you can see it's playing back the motion loop that we just did. And again, pull down to re-trigger. Do that as much as you want. And then touch and hold stop the motion loop playback. Now once you've created a motion loop that you like, you can come in here to the save menu, go ahead and save it to a slot, Have a little bit of an audio glitch there. And then we'll record another one to show you how to load them. So I'll just record another quick one. Now we'll save that in slot two. And stop the motion loop from playing. And then we can load them by just coming in and selecting which one to load. And now it's gonna play back the first one we recorded. Or switch to another one, which is the second one we recorded. That's how you use the motion loopers in Echo Pad.